Hi guys, it's Ben again. Uh, today I'm going to uh, show you how to turn your a normal text into something like this. Um, putting any pictures that you like behind your text. Very simple steps that you can take to um, achieve that kind of effect. First, you need to type a word. Here I'm typing, um, I have already typed sunset. I'm using the uh, Sans Ultra Bold font. So we've got a text layer on the right. Now we have a white, also we have a white background. Now we need, what we need to do is to give some effects to our text. You double click on the text layer and select bevel and emboss and also drop shadow. These are the only two effects that we're using for this particular text. I use the blend mode to normal. Uh, opacity to 100, fill opacity to 100 as well. Now we click on the uh, bevel and emboss and this style has got to be outer bevel and the technique is chisel hard. Um, our depth is going to be 126. Use the direction as up. Size is zero and soft, softness is uh, zero as well. Now we're coming down to the um, gloss contour and the altitude and the angle. The angle's got to be 120 and the altitude's got to be 30. And use global light must be unchecked. The gloss uh, contour, you drop the menu and select the uh, linear one that is the one that has got to be selected the highlight mode is got to be white 100 uh, percent and on multiply and the shadow mode is on difference white again and the um, opacity has got to be 100. now uh, the uh, bevel is done now we're going to move down to the sh drop shadow and these are the settings that we have to use. Multiply black. Uh, opacity 100 again. The angle has got to be 52. And the global light has got to be uh, checked. Distance 10%, 10 pixels, sorry, spread is 5% and the size is 0 pixels. On here on this menu we're using the ring double. That box has got to be checked as well. Noise is on 0%. Press OK. Uh, I have already downloaded two backgrounds of the sunlight and ocean. So you just go to your folder and import your desired photo and the background that you want to use. I've already done that here. So what you're going to do now, to, you need to click on the, um, on the background and make sure your background is on top of your text. Now uh, you need to make sure that the size is right. and that your text, your background is covering your text. Right click on the background and click on create clipping mask. And once you've done that, you can see that your background is going to be automatically removed and placed behind your text, like so. Now you can just move it around and adjust it where you exactly want it. 
You can also do the same technique, use the same technique, placing uh, multiple backgrounds behind the same text. I'm also here using the same background to replace the white background that I have here. So this is one um, result that you can get. You can use the same background that you put behind your text as the solid background as well. Or you can use any kind of uh, solid background. Here I'm going to turn this background here to gradient and show you two different type of backgrounds here. This is a simple one and this is another one. You can choose your own background and can play with this and do it whichever way you like it. And that's it guys. This is just uh, some simple steps to uh, place an image behind your text. Please leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe. Any questions that you may have, please put down in the comments and let me know what other tutorials you would like me to upload for you next.